Hey friends, I'm Alicia. I'm a certified personal trainer and lifestyle consultant at Livia. Thank you all for joining me again for another fabulous workout. Today's workout, we will be doing full body. So on those days that you wanna hit all those muscle grooves, this workout is for you. I'm excited about this one. Well, please make sure that you are first cleared by your doctor to exercise, especially if you have any limitations, this is super important. We will be uh, using a pair of dumbbells today. If you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use cans of soup or water bottles or no weights at all. Really listen to that body. Uh, take those breaks. Remember to take those breaks. Even if I don't take the break, take your break. Listen to your body. Super important. Uh, we will first begin by just warming up. When we're finished with our workout, we will be doing a cool down. So let's begin. Just warming up the body here. So one thing I like to do is just kind of get the torso all ready for work and warmed up here. All right. Very nice. This should feel really good, especially if you're in, sitting in an office all day, sitting in the chair. You don't do this movement enough. All right, let's do some side bends here. And reach. Other side. Perfect. Now we're doing some active stretching here. We're getting those muscles activated for some work. Just warmed up. Go ahead and take your knee and pull it to your chest. Other side. Alternate here. Very good. Make sure you have your water bottle near you. That's super important before beginning any workout. Hydration is so important before your workout, after your workout, during your workout. Let's just reach the sky and down. Relax your head. Come to the side here, other side. Couple more here. Good. A few more. Okay. Let's do some butt kicks, running in place. to prevent any injury from occurring. Perfect. All right, you guys, let's do this. So our first move, I'm gonna grab the dumbbells here. Remember, you don't have to use dumbbells. You can use uh, cans of soup, whatever you have. The first move, so our feet are shoulder width apart. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing a squat and a press. Squat and a press. 
to the side here. Squat, press, squat, press. Now try to go deep with your squat, keeping your back straight here, your shoulders are back. Making sure your knees don't go past your toes here. Not leaning forward. We're gonna do 10 here. And when you're ready, let's do this. One, two, our core is tight. Three, four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one. Ten, your heart rate should be going up here. Oh, take a little break. I might not count for you guys on the next one because I am losing my breath. <laughs> but we're gonna do that again. Make sure you're breathing. Not holding your breath through any exercises here. All right, I'm grabbing my dumbbells. Get ready to do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Nine, ten. Woo! I'm doing it with you guys. That was good. Woo! Shake it out. All right, let me show you the next move. Next move, we're taking our dumbbells. Our feet are shoulder width apart to help with balance. And we're gonna do a bicep curl, but we're curling to the side here. So we're keeping our elbows close to our side and at an angle. So if you can tell the difference, this would be front and then at an angle here. So that's our first move. We're actually going to go forward, forward. So at an angle and forward. Woo! I feel it already. <laughs> really listen to your body. Even if you use no uh, weights and you really squeeze it, Squeeze it at the top, squeeze it at the top. You're still isolating that bicep muscle, the fronts of the arms here. I'm gonna use weights for this one. Let's do six total. That would be one. Two. Three. Four, five, last one. Woo! All right, shake it out. You should be feeling this one. I know I am. Okay, when you're ready, we're gonna do it again. Six. All right. One, two, three, you got it, four, five, last one, six, woo, all right, shake it out, do some arm circle, give yourself some quick hugs here. Grab your water. All right, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. We're still working the arms a little bit here. Remember, full body. I'm gonna move my mat. 
Okay, so our feet are shoulder width apart again to help with that balance. And we're taking our dumbbells or no dumbbells or soup cans, whatever you have. We're coming at an angle here. And what we're doing is we're just gonna follow one plane and out. Here and out. Pretend there's just a tabletop here and you're just skimming the top. Out, one level, okay? And now, we're gonna do 10 of those. So when we get to the 10th one, say we're out, 10. We're gonna hold here until I say to not hold anymore, okay? So you can see, we're just isolating that muscle. We're holding, okay? Not here. If you're starting to be here, you might need to go lower in the weight. But right here. Okay, let's do this. All right, starting out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. 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 Whew, drop. Good job, you guys. Shake it out. Oh. Doing good, doing good. We're gonna do that again. All right. You want that summer body, right? <laughs> Gotta get through this. Okay. Ready? Starting now. Go for 10. Nine. Ten. Hold. Breathe. Hold. Drop. Good job. Good job. Fix my mat here. Shake it out again. Take those breaks when you need. Okay. So the next one that we're gonna do, let's work the legs again. I'm taking my dumbbells and we're coming back into a lunge. So we're stepping back with one foot. The other foot is planted, and we're coming down into a lunge. Make sure that knee does not go past that toe. And we're coming up and down. Up and down. We're gonna go for eight. Okay, then we'll switch to the other side. Now, if you have trouble with balance, a um, good idea is maybe to have two chairs. Two chairs here, and we're just coming up and down, free weights. You're still gonna be working those muscles. All right, starting with the left leg here, stepping back into that lunge, stepping back. We have our dumbbells in place, and we're lowering for eight. One, two, core is tight, three, four, five, six, Seven, last one, eight. Perfect. Whew. Take a little breather here. Make sure you're breathing. Can your nose out your mouth. Big inhale and exhale. All right, let's get in position. Right leg is back. Come on, you guys, you got this. For eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Woo! That is great. Woo! Almost finished here. We got one more set of that. Shake it out. Grab your water. Okay, all 
Are we ready? Left leg stepping back. Ready? Lowering. Up and down. Let's go for eight. One, two, three. Two more. Perfect. Whew. Breathe. Shake it out. Ooh, don't lose any balance here. <laughs> All right. Now, right leg is back. Let's go. Let's do it again. Eight. You guys got this. Okay. 
Okay, starting position, slightly bending forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Nice job here. Grab some water. Let me show you the next exercise that we're going to do. We're going to be working the chest. This is full body. We're trying to hit all the muscle groups here. All right. So I'm just going to use the wall here. You can certainly do your push up on the ground. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of stepping back here, having my arms near my chest. And lowering down. So our hands are right underneath our shoulders. We're coming up and down. Okay. So for your wall push-up, let's let's go for ten. Okay. All right. Let's do this. All right. So remember, if you're stepping closer to the wall. It's going to be a little bit easier stepping back from the wall, a little more challenging. Ready? Our hands are in good placement here, and we're pushing for 10. Got it. Two more. Perfect. Woo! Good. Take a little break. Let's get to it, you guys. You guys are going to be so strong. You are so strong. Let's get through this workout here together. All right. Do 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Whew. Good job, you guys. Nice job. All right. Let's work some abs here. This one I really like to do. It really isolates the sides here. So I like to put my hand on my hip here, reaching my foot out, arm is up, and we're doing a side crunch, okay? So knee to elbow, knee to elbow, reach, knee to elbow, reach, okay? Now again, if balance is an issue, hold on to a chair and do the same thing. Core is tight the entire time. We're just crunching to the side. So let's do this. We're gonna do um, eight here. Ready? One, two, three, four, ooh, five, six, Seven, last one. Eight. Oh, nice. Okay, other side. One, two, four is tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really reach with it. I noticed a couple of mine. I wasn't reaching as far and I corrected and really reach, have that stretch and crunch down. Remember breathing is super important. Make sure that you're not holding your breath through any of these exercises. I know I say that all the time, but it's so easy to hold your breath. So make sure you're breathing. Let's grab some water here. All right, we're gonna do that again. Try it for 10. This time, when we get to the 10th rep, let's do something fun here. When we get to the 10th rep, so you're on 10, I want you to try 
Remember, you can have a chair. Try to hold it. Squeezing the abs. Make sure everything is tight. I want you to hold it for a couple seconds or until I say stop. Let's do something a little fun here. <laughs> All right, let's go. So right side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, pull, down. Woo! I can feel it, that is so good. Let's do it again, you guys got this. Hands on the hips, and we're reaching, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one. Eight. Ooh, I should have had a chair. Eight. Hold. Hold. Down. Woo! Nice job. We are almost finished, you guys. Let me show you the next exercise here. So we're standing. Forward feet are together, hands are on the hips, and we're coming out and in, out and in, out and in. Okay, we're gonna go five, so one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> and then something fun right after that. We're standing here. Remember, you can hold on to something. We're gonna do five kickbacks. So your leg is slightly bent. Um, you have a little slight bend to the torso here. And we're gonna do five. So, five to the side, five back. All right, so this is so exciting. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so starting with the right foot, off to the side for five. And let me make sure I have enough room here. I'm gonna step forward a little bit. All right. To this side, for five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, nice job. Let's go right into it. All right, left side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, great job here. I love it. You guys are all finished here. But let's do a cool down. Good job. Let's reach up. Really reach for the sky. Come down. Slowly. Let your head hang here. Just relax and stretch it out. You don't have to touch the floor. Wherever you feel that stretch, you can rock back and forth for a deeper stretch. Breathe. Thank your body for such a great workout for working so hard for you. Good job. Yeah. Feet together. Reach down. Again, you don't have to touch your toes. Let's go wherever you feel that stretch in back the legs here. Here. 
top of our head here. Just rolling our neck side to side. Perfect. Feel free to take a deeper stretch. Listen to your body. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you join me again for the next one. If you have any questions at all about this workout or muscle groups or anything fitness related, please direct them to fitness at Thanks again, you guys. Good job. See ya.